St. John said, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Little children, it is the last time. He talks now about the Antichrist coming, the spirit of Antichrist. He says there are three enemies we must guard against. We must not love the world. He said we must not love the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, or the pride of life. And I believe that these are three of the greatest enemies to spiritual, spiritual power, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. So we have the lust of the eyes. We see things that we know does not belong to us. And some people steal. They see things they want and they steal. They see a man sees another woman who belongs to a neighbor and he tries to steal her or vice versa. You see things that you know you can't afford and you buy. The lust of the eyes. And so all this over comes a person, these, these things, the lust of the eyes, and then the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. And I believe that we find that this is where Eve fell. The devil came and said, you can take of that fruit. It was pleasant to look upon. God had said, don't eat the fruit. You must not eat this fruit. It's forbidden. Now, the fruit from all the other trees is acceptable. You may, have, you may have the fruit, all the fruit you want, but not from this one tree. Because if you eat of this fruit, you will die. And the Hebrew says, in dying, you will die. You will begin to die and eventually die. They died immediately, spiritually, physically, took longer. In dying, thou shalt die, is the Hebrew. You will begin to die and you will die. If you partake of the fruit, if you rebel, if you commit high treason, you will die. But the devil said, no, no, you will not die. You'll become wise. And the fruit was pleasant to look at and she knew it would taste good. There's the, there's the lust of the flesh. It would taste good. Like people drinking, taking drugs, committing fornication homosexuality, the lust of the flesh. They're doing things that are wrong. They see things they want that doesn't belong to them. They do things that make their flesh feel good. And in the pride of life, the devil comes, oh, you're special. You're someone very special. You know, you're better than anyone else. The pride of race, face, face, race, place. I'm better because... The Bible tells us these enemies will take you down. And if you can overcome the enemies, and here was Eve. She saw the fruit. It looked good, pleasant in the eyes. She knew it would taste good, would make her wise. There's the, there's the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. And we find David, the same thing with him. He saw the woman, and she was having a bath. Bathsheba, she was someone else's wife. He saw her, he lusted after her, and he took her and had her husband killed. Uriah, front of the battle, killed because of this sin. The devil came to the Lord Jesus and tried to tempt him, but Jesus said, it is written, it is written, it is written, and overcame the devil. And you could overcome the devil by giving your life to Christ by asking him to fill you with his Holy Spirit. You can receive the power of God in your life and overcome all these sins. You can do it today. Father, bless now, save and deliver. For Christ's sake, amen. I'm Pastor Max Solbrecken, House of Prayer. I was 623, New Sarepta. God bless you, my friend.